So, I need to reduce weight. I'm not gonna lose weight between now and the ring, but the car can. I've got all this heavy standard interior. They can just all be ripped out. So let's do it. The question is, do I take the driver's seat out now, knowing that, no, I don't take it out now, do I? Because then I can't move it. Duh, new seats haven't arrived yet. Picking them up tomorrow morning though. Woo! Everything up front is gonna stay in place. Uh, I need my creature comforts. Carpet's gonna stay in place because if you've ever driven a car without carpet, it's horrible. Now for a track day, fine. But for driving to Germany, not so much. So I'm gonna remove front seats, rear seats, side trims and stuff like that. And that should see me at least 60 kilos saved. Add that to the back, that's 75 kilos. It's not bad going. Key. Whoa, those things are heavy. I'm feeling so lazy today. Power tools for everything. Then we get nice access down here to the seat mountains. Nice. As easy as that. Oh, there's always one. There we go. So we're going to collect these bolts up. Make sure we don't lose any because this is all going back in. So, rather unlike me, I'm going to do something sensible. I'm going to leave these bits in place. Now, thought process is these have got to go back in when I'm done and as these get older and older they stand more and more chance of breaking clips uh, as you remove them and i really don't want this to be rattly and horrible when i reassemble it for the new owner so i'm going to leave those in place i'm going to unbolt the stuff that unbolts easily uh, and i'm going to leave it at that like i said we've, we've taken that weight off the rear the seats weigh a lot so we've got a lot of saving there and then yeah i think she's good to go so last night I got a bit carried away. Uh, you might have seen my shorts video of me doing a savage bonnet vent. Uh, and that was for a bonnet intended for use on this vehicle. And when Dom was over doing the stickers for this, we tried to wrap it because silver on blue is just gonna look a bit odd, isn't it? So we thought we'll, we'll wrap it. And uh, that didn't work. So my only other option was paint. So off to Halfords. Had a quick look around and thought, yeah, I've got a plan. So do you wanna see it? Do you wanna see how it turned out? Well, this is me painting it last night. And this is what it looks like today. Yeah, that's quite patchy. However, I think that's how it's gonna stay. So now I've got the fun task of trying to fit that solo. Um, it is kind of a two-man job just because of holding stuff and lining stuff up, but they're aluminium and they're not heavy, so I'm just going to give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? Well, that didn't go too bad. How am I going to do the reverse of that, though? Oh, 
How's this for a first fit? Do you know what? I'll take it. That is not bad fitment. So another thing that I'm going to do is remove all the engine bay plastics. Now that's so that if there's any problems, I stand the best chance of just being able to see it and sort it, and then I'm to rip stuff apart and find out what's going on. Oh, what kind of bandit uses threes and fours? Ah, <laughs> why? See, this is the issues that I'm saving myself on race day. I mean, it's a bit more weight saving as well. And there we have a pair of seats. Beautiful. That's not shadow, that's weird fading. Same as there, but I don't care. All right, so we're gonna get this old one out first. Ugh. So we reused the original bolts, all four of those, and in theory, this should just slot straight in. Oh yes, like a glove. Oh, that's annoying seat sits in the way of uh, the rear mounts. Just do them finger tight for now, because I might be taking it straight back out if I've got to do any adjustments. All the way back, clamber in. Oh. How do I look? Tell you what, I'm feeling comfy. Don't know how it's gonna be for hundreds of miles in a row, but these are not a bad seat and they fit my frame really nicely. If you're ever considering running bucket seats in your daily, it's fine if you're doing an hour, hour and a half, maybe two. What's not fine is doing 800 miles in 24 hours. Yeah, it needs to be forward a bit. I can come all the way to there and be like driving Miss Daisy. I don't need to be there. I think my arms are at a comfortable distance. You don't want to be all the way out there. And I mean, I've got room for adjustability on that if I wanted to. I want to be a bit further away. I think overall, driving position is good. Once I've moved the seatbelt latch over, we'll be all right. Well, these seats certainly feel the business. Let's take you for a quick drive. Oh, I can't reach the button to the gates. There we go. And let's uh, see how it feels around a few bends. Now, these seats are often considered a poor man's Recaro pole position and I can see where they're coming from stylistically they've copied it as closely as they can but that's not a bad thing it just means that you know I've not had to spend much money now one thing you might notice compared to the other episode is that now that we've got the interior stripped out it's definitely quite noisy and if I'd done the carpet as well yeah, I'd be getting all the stones flicking up and all that stuff, and it's just, it's just not good. Seats are comfy. I mean, they're not as comfy as standard seats, don't get me wrong. But as I'm going over these bumps and stuff, it doesn't hurt. It's not annoying. I don't think I'm quite in the perfect driving position for myself, and that's where... Um, you know, if I, if I wasn't using the sliders, 
uh, I could get the, the side mount set a little bit nicer maybe, but I don't mind this position. So with me being so high, I'm really going to struggle to see any um, traffic lights and things like that. I mean, I, I usually struggle anyway, but with the standard seat, I would definitely be able to be sat lower than I currently am. But yeah, we're just going to go down to one of my favorite little test tracks. Luckily, it's literally within a mile of the unit. And I can put it around some, oh yeah, put it around some nice tight bends. Yeah, this already feels good. Perhaps need to get my windscreen mount set up if I'm going to be driving like that, don't I? <laughs> yeah, but oh, this does feel good. Instead of sliding around on the seat as the cars move around the corners, you just get a feel for where it's going and you know, get a feel for if you need to put any more input in or not. Okay, right slow corner here. Got to be careful, this is a public road. And even on these rough roads here, the suspension's coming together nicely with these seats. It's a good combination and really liking how it feels. Um, yeah, hopefully you can tell from the grin on my face that this car has been completely transformed by three simple modifications on top of what it already had. Brakes, suspension and seats. And I tell you what, I can't wait to get to the ring now. <laughs> 